My name is Atumba Ayodeji Ashibabu, Convener Yoruba Koya. Okay, sir. Uh, at the event today, the major point of talk has been the restructuring. Would you agree that Nigeria is ripe for restructuring? Well, Nigeria is overripe for restructuring. Um, but it, become, it continues to become a contentious issue because of the content of uh, government and uh, the National Assembly to quickly rise to the occasion and uh, take the necessary steps uh, for uh, Nigeria to be restructured. When a whole lot of people have uh, uh, been saying it might not be necessary that uh, we should continue to go out, nobody continues to live in a pit of hell. Nobody continues to live in debt. And what is happening right now is that, just like it's been emphasized here, the thing that binds us together is a constitution. And that constitution is the reason why there is a need to restructure Nigeria. So first, let's get that constitution properly amended. And there is a copy, a copy of a constitution that has been drafted and presented by Yorubas as the only tenable way we can continue to proceed under the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That constitution is the operative constitution that going forward, Nigeria should pursue. If we continue to use this constitution, it will end us in great disarray. This constitution is breeding poverty, is breeding disunity, is breeding on development, is breeding abuse of mind, is breeding abuse of people, is bringing in a whole lot of things that we Nigerians are not used to. And already the constitution has segregated this nation. It has broken the nation down into provinces. And the only realistic way this nation can begin to move on is for the divisions, for the regions to begin to unite and look at ways of solving their problems. So the governors of the Southwest all got together and formed a motel as a way of solving the, the security problem in Yoruba land. Going forward, this Amotep itself is what is going to be used, is what is going to be used by Yorubans to solve all the problems, our problems of industry, our problems of infrastructure, our problems of education, our problems of unemployment, our problems of uh, lack of health facilities. It is the same I'm affecting theory, a multiple spirit we are using to solve a problem in security that we will use to solve all these other problems that is plaguing the global land. So a is the spirit the new spirit of Yoruba land, it draws, it has claws, it has fangs, and it's a fearful uh, thing. It's a fearful philosophy. It's a fearful animal that you need to fear. So for anybody that cares to listen, yes, there can be a flag flying, flying event, but the real event is in the minds of the people. What is it that Yorubas want? They want to build their roads. They want to be in charge of their hospital. They don't want vats to be collected from here and spent, uh, 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 and spent by the people who do not provide it. Okay, good, they think they found for oil now. So it can be equal, it can be uh, divisible. But please, enough is enough. This oppression, this stealing of our wealth to develop other parts of the country must stop. And it will stop because gradually we're going to go towards it. Between now and December 2020, we would have made a whole, whole lot of moves. We are not fighting a war. People have asked me, I used to sit down. I said to them, do you want to see, where do you want to sit? Do you, yeah, sir, do you run to, away from your own land? We are not going to, to move away from session, here. Let's I'll talk more on Amotekon. People yes. are the proponent that Amotekon would be exploited by governors, Southwest governors, to run their political ambition. Do you think that is true? 
Well, I mean, nobody knows tomorrow. But going by the spirit of what is happening, going by the events of in the last couple of weeks, it is obvious that the people should not be afraid of governments. Governments should be afraid of the people. The people own Amotekun, it's not government. So, if anybody is going to turn Amotekun into his own private machinery, right, it's all right. It's just like getting a group of people and say, but that is not the group that is going to fight for unity. It's not the group that is going to fight for education. It's not the group that is going to fight for uh, infrastructural development. It's not the group that is going to fight for the future of Yoruba land. That is the Amotekun spirit. And that's the spirit nobody can kill. And that is a spirit that is pervading the whole of the Southwest. Anywhere Yorubas are worldwide, it is the Amotekun spirit that is in us. And it is a spirit of development. It is a spirit of fortrightness. It is a spirit of justice. And it's a spirit of fair play. And Yorubas worldwide are known for that. And that is why. You see, there's no killing the Amotekun. You can only try, but you cannot kill the spirit. So on a final note, do you think that journalism or secession, as it has been called, would make the, the, the country better? Yeah, but when people talk about secession, I mean, Yorubas are not talking about secession. We are, we are not going anywhere. This is our own land. Why should we secede from our own land? What we are saying is the constitution that binds us together as Nigeria is not a functional constitution. And that, because it is not functional constitution, it means that the nation, Nigeria, is not functional under the present constitution, and it has to be changed. So we are making our demands, and it's our demands that must be met. It's very simple. Let's sit down on the table. Let's dialogue. Let us eyeball ourselves. I ask this question. Why is the federal government afraid to talk with us? Why is our Rewa Consultative Forum afraid to talk to us? Why is it they're afraid to talk with the Igbos, the Tiv? Why is it that the federal government is afraid to sit us on, a, on the table? We are not going to allow any conference that will say you are restricted to this side, you cannot discuss this, you cannot discuss that. Any conference we are going to have now, we discuss all issues from A to Z. And the principal things is those 21 issues under the exclusive legislative list. We want to be in charge of our air, airspace. We want to be in charge of our land. We want to be in charge of our waterways. We want to build our stadiums. We want to build our hospitals. We want to build our churches. We want to build our secondary schools. We want to be in charge of our universities. Those are the issues we're talking about. Thank you very much. Sir. Well, well the, the, the issue is no threat. It's just a simple gentleman's call. Come to the table and let us discuss. Come to the table. Arewa, come to the table, federal government, before it is too late. Thank you.